Hello, Coffeeholics. Welcome back. Today, we are going to continue our frap series. We are going to make five classic frap drinks, Americano, latte, cappuccino, mocha, and caramel macchiato, all in one video tutorial. So stay tuned until the end of this video clip and you'll get to learn how to do all these delicious drinks the simple way. Let's look at the ingredients. Because this is a frap, I am going to use whipped cream for my topping for the drinks. And for the whipping cream, I am using a powdered whipping cream. This is more convenient, easy to use, and also cost-effective, very economical. We are going to make this before we start making our drinks. And for the coffee, I am going to use my dark roast here. For the milk, we are going to use my milk syrup, which is a combination of condensed milk and evaporated milk. For those who are wondering how many permutations or how many variations of milk syrup I have, please check out the description box below. And also, because this is a frap, I always recommend to use a frap base. This helps in making the drink blend well together, as well as adds extra flavor and making it more premium. If you do not have a frap base, that's also possible. It's just that your drink will look less premium and also taste less premium. Give it a try with or without. And because we are going to make a mocha chino, I am going to use unsweetened dark chocolate powder here. And we're going to make caramel macchiato. I'm going to use a homemade caramel sauce. If you haven't yet seen my video tutorial on how to make a homemade caramel sauce, do check it out. And again, because we are going to make mocha, I would like to use chocolate sauce to top up my drink. And again, this is homemade. Check out the video tutorial on how to make a easy, an easy chocolate sauce. So let's start by making our whipped cream. For the whipped cream, according to this package, it says that I have to use, if I am going to use a whipping cream dispenser, I have to use 120 grams of the powder and I have already measured it. It's 120 grams here, and also 300 ml of water. Now, when you make whipped cream using a whipping cream powder, the recommendation is to use cold water. We need 300 ml of cold water. I'm going to put it in a shaker. That's 300 ml of plain water. And to make it cold, I normally add ice into it. Give it a good shake, making your water instantly cold. Now pour your whipping cream powder into a jug. Add the 300 ml of cold water into it. Pour the mixture into your whipping cream dispenser. Make sure it is tightly closed. Install the single-use gas charger. Turn until you hear that click indicating that the gas has entered the cylinder. And we are ready to put this aside for later. Let us go pull our espresso shots. To make it simpler, I am going to use the same two shots of espresso for all the five drinks. This way, we are going to make it easier to remember and also we can compare the taste of each of these five delicious drinks. Now, please bear with me as I pull all these five double shots of espresso. Now that we have our five, two shots of espresso, let us start making our frap drinks. We're going to start by making Americano frap. And I would suggest that you prepare it in a separate measuring cup first so that you don't put everything hot espresso into the blender. What happens is that it becomes very, very runny. So we are going to temper this. So we're going to cool it down and into a measuring cup. So two shots of espresso and two ounces of sugar syrup. Now, once again, the sweetness level, you can adjust according to your own preferences. Okay. 
16 ounces Americano. Next, we are going to make our cafe latte frappe. Some like them to be plain. They don't want any flavor with it. So this is plain latte frappe. So once again, I am going to pour my two shots of espresso into my measuring cup. And for the milk syrup here, I am going to use 2.5 ounces of milk syrup. So that's two and then 0.5 ounce. So 2.5 ounces of milk syrup. Stir it a bit. 22 ounce cup into my blender and then my latte mix. And because this is now milky, you'd like it to look really, really premium and it's very well blended. I am going to add my frappe base. Usually for a 16 ounce cup, I would use about two teaspoons. So I have a tablespoon here. I'm going to be using a tablespoon but not filling it to the top so this is about two teaspoons of frappe base and we are ready to blend This is our 16 ounce latte prep. I'm going to pop this in the freezer and bring it back later. Next, it is the cappuccino. For the cappuccino, we are also going to use two ounces of our espresso shots. And we are reducing the amount of milk from the latte, which was 2.5. This time, I am only going to use two ounces of milk syrup. Now, once again, because this is a commercial recipe, I'm going to add 0.5 ounces of sugar syrup. Our cappuccino mix. And then the frappe paste. So nearly a spoonful, tablespoonful, and we are ready to blend. Cappuccino is a little bit darker than our latte because it has less milk. Frap drinks should be icy. There you go, it's perfect. Next, it is our caramel macchiato. So for this, once again, I'm going to use my two shots of espresso. It is going to be two ounces of milk syrup. And half an ounce of caramel sauce. Bind them well, and we have our caramel macchiato mix. And our frap paste. Blend. Caramel macchiato. Now for our final drink, it is mocha. Once again, it is our two shots of espresso, 2.5 ounces of milk syrup, two. 0.5 add one tablespoon of unsweetened chocolate powder the mocha mix to 
Just make sure you get everything in there. And then, not to forget our frap base. Start to blend. The trick here is in the amount of ice that you use. Make sure you use the right amount of ice, otherwise you are going to dilute your drink. So this is my mocha frap. Five frap drinks that's finished them off with whipped cream. This is for a cappuccino. Latte. This is our caramel macchiato. And this is mocha. To decorate the top for our cappuccino, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cocoa powder on top. Latte. And this is our caramel macchiato. I'm going to decorate the top with caramel sauce. And for the mocha, decorate the top with chocolate sauce. Five delicious frap drinks using espresso shots. So the recipes which I've shown you are quite simple, easy to understand and easy to remember because I'm using the same amount of espresso shots for each of these five drinks. For some, you might find that you'd like to add a little bit more shots for the cappuccino, but the way I balance it is I put less milk and so making the taste different from the latte. Let's put our straws in and it is going to be the moment of truth. Um, I'm going to give them all a try. Um, it'll be another coffee overdose for me today. This is for Americano. There's a lot of uh, layer here. It should really be black all over. This is a commercial recipe, so it should be a little bit on the sweet side. Mm. That is refreshing. Very, very strong espresso. I'm using dark rose, so um, you could imagine how good the taste is. Because the darker the rose for iced coffee, it is better. Now, this is my cappuccino. It looks really, really good, really tempting, with that sprinkle of chocolate powder on top, and of course, the cream. As you can see, there is no separation, and you can see a very, very smooth blend of the coffee. Cappuccino. Mm. That is perfect. Caramel macchiato. Again, it looks so delightful with that caramel sauce on top and this very, very smooth blend. Mm. This is more on the sweet side because of the caramel. There is, of course, um, less milk, but just a hint of caramel in our drink. This is, once again, delicious. Mocha, my favorite. Beautiful color, really dark because I use unsweetened dark chocolate. And of course, that chocolate sauce on top, just the perfect finish to this drink. The perfect balance between the coffee and the chocolate. So for those of you who are craving for mocha, try this recipe now. And finally, the latte. For those that like their coffee less strong, Although you have the same number of shots, number of espresso shots in this cup, we balance it with a little bit more milk. Mm. Perfect. So there you go, very simple recipes for five delicious frap drinks using espresso shots. In another video tutorial, maybe not yet the next one, I am going to show you how to make different frap drinks once again using a mocha pot. 
Using a mocha pot, there's a little bit of an art and a science involved. So stay tuned and watch out for that next video tutorial. So for today, that's all that I have. I hope that you learned something new once again. And in this series of prep drinks, I am going to show you more recipes for 22 ounces cups and maybe 12 ounces cups. So stay tuned. For those of you that have not yet subscribed to this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Also, watch out for the launch of my new Basic Barista book. More on that later. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.